Um, the final, <laughs> the final round of Group C. No, the final. Ra so there's two games in the final round. Yeah. So the final round. Okay. Yeah, Toby's trying to correct me, but he's wrong because I'm always right. The final round of Group C is about to commence. We're gonna have Baghetti Bolognag. We'll have Baghetti against Dicker Ben. It's gonna be interesting to watch these guys play. Both the only two O people in the group, so we're both gonna see them tomorrow. Both gonna be top eight in that alpha bracket, but they're gonna be playing right now for seeding because you don't want to play those strong guys early. So this match still matters. They're gonna be playing for that uh, first or second seed in their group. And it's gonna be an interesting one to see because they've both looked really strong so far. Yeah, I'm really curious. I mean, to me, Dick Van, obviously, they got the pedigree. They're the old team. They're the team that's been around for a while. They got members like Dude. They got members like Noctis, Wasabi, and, well, Wasabi and Bali. So, for a while, pretty, pretty solid team members. And Baghetti also have some OG names in there, but they're running some weird comps. So, I'm curious how the weird, weird comps. So, I'm curious how that's going to play out. Um, I'm, I'm, I want to see, like, the Octobrush into the into whatever Dick and Ben are running, you know, like the, the, the Blaster. I, I'm, I'm just curious how this is going to play out. And we're going to see it all start on Rainmaker on Scorch Gorge. Remix Scorch Gorge is going to be starting now. Going to see what these teams pull out. I'm interested. Eric is going to be on that junior. I see. I was watching him in particular because I wanted to see if the Ultra was going to come back. But playing the junior, which makes sense, has been really good so far. Barley's going to be on that Sploosh, which I'm really interested to see because, of course, Hammer Sploosh was very, very strong. Okay. So that's already a problem. We might still see Sploosh. I'm just going to finish my thought. We don't know if it's going to go this way. But Sploosh with Hammer was very strong. It was Rainmaker meta in Splatoon 2. But that, it didn't. It did help. They had the fact to have Splat Bomb. Not Curling Bomb. And Splat Bomb Hammer was like the perfect Rainmaker kit for it. Um, it's been struggling a bit in this game. But uh, it seems like Barley's going to be trying to take it out in this meta. I can see why a lot of it's like... You know, biggest counters have been nerfed. So, gonna be giving it a go on this Umami Raymaker potentially. We'll see. There was a, a, it looks like the error wasn't that, it was something else, but we'll just have to uh, wait. Not Umami. It looks like Umami. I don't know the maps in this game. What is it, what's it called? Scorch. Raymaker Scorch Gorge. We're gonna have to see how the Sploosh plays out if he does decide to pick it. Yeah, to be honest, I'm I, I'm with you there. Like a lot of his counters have been nerfed. Sploosh wasn't really good because you could just kind of crab on it and it can't kill the crab, or you could do inkjet and it, well, even now it can't kill the inkjet. So uh, I'm, I am curious how that would play out against the inkjet uh, team. I'm curious how it would have played out in the last meta with the crab machine. But going back into it, that's a bit of a weird one, Dick Ben. Bali, I, I, to be honest, I don't know his weapon pool, but he has been playing a lot of splash, which is typically quite a um, well, it's, it's a it's a meta weapon, right? Splash was meta at the start of this game. Then splash neo came out and everybody's like oh my god splash neo uh and then people ran splash neo splash and then crab got nerfed and now people are running splash neo it's eh, the splash has always been in the meta and people want it changed but I don't know. yeah <laughs> anyway so okay yeah bali is gonna be playing that sploosh so i'm gonna be interested to see how that seems we're probably gonna be a quick pop from the side of dick ben uh he's gonna be playing that object shredder so yeah that is the classic thing because the point is you can just pop that shield in seconds you can go for those 15 pushes the game i was talking about earlier but you can just keep popping and popping and going aggro but they actually won't get the initial pop a lot of bombs on the side of spaghetti will help them out but going for an early hammer here you can see he's just running around trying to paint not yet going in and a uh, splash shot does go down giving dick ben the man advantage in this early round we we'll going very very aggressive and the hammer does come out get popped immediately gets one could potentially get this second actually probably just gonna go for the cap on the jump does get the second and opens up for dick ben start going forward the ball point is staying alive but the first checkpoint's broken the ball point now gets taken out and dick ben still have a great situation to keep this push going yeah that's a huge start from dick ben they've still got some specials on board they forfeit the booyah bomb just to get some rainmaker points i can't understand that they do have the bubble already up uh, and that's going to be a pretty solid push for 22. remember we're on scorch gorge here as soon as you get up that little bit there that's yeah that's a really solid push and he's getting behind the hammer does come out massive from desert there three do go down though so two members still alive noctis and uh, 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 Noctis still hey Noctis, what are you doing? Stop! They're, they're innocent, they're children! Stop doing it to them! <laughs> Yeah, everyone's going down right now, and the jump's coming through more and more. It's so annoying to see with Blast just under the lip, getting more and more, and the shield does get popped on the side of Dick Ben, but unfortunately, no more progress does get made. I don't think we'll do the Wasabi are close, actually, so they could try and keep this going. Actually, dude does go down. Looks like Wasabi's going back out, so it does look like the push is coming to an end, but wow, what a great start to the game for Dick Ben. Yeah, Noctis there, kind of bullying. Uh, sat and spawned there for a little bit, just basically getting rid of everybody that spawned. Uh, Bugatti now have to have a mountain to climb to get back back into this game. And that mountain starts with the Tribuka, which unfortunately the Hammer does manage to get. But uh, with the trade from Eric Big there, uh, does lose the bubble for it, but that's honestly pretty decent. 
yeah. Um, Pagetti now are going to have to look to a, a good way to get in because, look, they have, like, no mid control. They're still sitting on their side of the map. So they're going to pop the inkjet to try and get in, and they've got to find value because if you don't, you're using special to get a mid that you don't even get into. Luckily, they find the machine, which they needed to, to continue, but Kraken has been popped, and their splash shot goes down. So, again, it's going to be hard to uh, move forward. But look, Noxy just following the Kraken and trying to get some damage down and does. Gets the pick. Now Hammer's going through. There's just so much chaos coming out from Dick and Ben. They're already making the game their own, and it's making it so hard for Pagetti to find any value here when they're just getting, like, thrown off by 90 specials and then knocked is coming out of nowhere and this and that and they uh... Nox is just, uh, I don't know, he's, he's Chaos Incarnate right now. He's putting in, it doesn't even matter if he's getting the kills on the Zorex. He's putting in the chip damage, scaring the hell out of Baghetti, and getting that remix to go forward. You're seeing a lot of really solid gameplay, a lot of off-the-top stuff here. You know, the hammer comes through, someone's behind the hammer. The Kraken's behind the hammer. The Kraken goes through. The rest of the team follows the Kraken, you know? It's like stuff that would, would some people would have to coordinate, but it seems like Dicker Ben are just sort of popping them, and they're all going with it, you know? Uh, Baghetti do manage to wrestle back control here, but um, they still need mid, and they need to invest special to get it because unfortunately Dick and Ben are just cleaning them up as soon as they get close. Yeah, cleaning up very, very strongly right now. And look, they still have so much ink on the opposing side of the base. The Juni's going to try and put pressure on him. It does get taken down, and the bubble's gone with it. Knocks it so far up. Going to be really, really annoying here. Just trying to get some damage down and make some distraction. Torpedo is on him, so people are paying attention. But the Inkjet is looking at that Raymaker. But look, the Autobomb finds the Wiper. Ball point now goes down. Zuka gets popped with a big bubble in a perfect position from Noah to block that um, Ink Zuka. And now the Raymaker's going to try and move forward. They're so close to the knockout, but there's two on top left. They're they can just run for it. They're not looking at the Raymaker, but unfortunately doesn't quite have the pain to get the knockout. And it will be defended once again. But another great push for Dicker Ben. It's a minute 30. Dude and Nox is still going to sit there and try to be a nuisance. But either way, just keeping it in their spawn, it's going to be so good for them going into this last minute 30. I don't even know what to say here. Like, Baghetti, they need work. To, they need to put work in it. Again, you said it. Like, we said it twice now. They need to get that mid control. That ink needs to get something for them to get forward. And it's obviously when you get Nox is just hiding in your background trying to get another pick. You can't really do much about it. Luckily though, the Spruce gets taken down and obviously Nox is on the respawn here. The Hammer gets popped, looking for more space, Kraken to counter. Unfortunate there for the Hammer, he can't really get much of it. The Kraken's doing a great job protecting his teammate. Unfortunately, good job, good, good great play from Ticker Ben there to hold that back. And again, Baghetti failed to get that mid control. Yeah, failing to get the mid control and Dick Ben are still going to be holding it. Even then they're pushed back a little bit. Dude, um, uh, bar, bar, bar. <laughs> Barley are still going to be sitting here keeping that control and the hammer is at the ready to keep the defense. They have given up a bit of mid, but look, Barley's all the way over there just putting on a bit of distraction. Might pop the hammer here. Unfortunately, it does get taken out, but Nox is there and then the other post goes forward. Dude is able to get that pick. The ink uh, jet is being popped and it does take out Dude and now everyone's going down. It's just Wasabi and finally with 30 seconds left, but Getty are finally going to get to make their first push in this game, getting the first checkpoint and potentially taking it further in this last 20 seconds. Yeah, this is actually huge. We're getting the they just didn't have it going forward, but now they're getting the picks that they need. They're getting the possession that they need. They have the Rainmaker and the Auto Bomb is threatening damage. Mevlingo manages to avoid it. Eric a little bit far back, throwing bomb to the top. Noxus drops down. Go for the Rainmaker. Does manage to get it with the spam. Three members go down for Baghetti. And I think that's it for Dicker Ben. They do manage to take this first round of this set. Yeah, first one going to Dicker Ben. Very, very strong performance once again. Baghetti almost bring it back at the end. But Dicker Ben will be the ones going up 1-0 to zero in the both of these teams' final sets of the day and putting themselves uh, in a position to try and get first seed in this group. Obviously, though, at the end, Baghetti were looking good. Baghetti were looking like a team that find their footing and found something. If they're able to... I mean, we saw them in their set earlier against Pending. They got dominated in that first game. You know, now they win, we can be mean... Now they've won, we can be mean to them and say how it is. They got destroyed in that first Town Clock Inkblot game. But they're a team that can keep their cool, say, okay, we did this, we did this, now we can bring it back. So Baghetti could do that against Dicker Ben because we saw at the end, they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this team in small glimpses. So if they can turn that small glimpse to something longer, they might be able to squeeze out a map against this team. And again, uh, again, the key here, I'm looking at Splat Zones, I'm thinking Eric on that junior, I'm thinking the way they played against Pending on that Splat Zones map, and managed to wrestle it back after what seemed like a crushing defeat to an almost overwhelming victory. Now, Digger Ben, arguably a harder team to beat than Pending right now, but that doesn't matter. If you're Baghetti right now, you're thinking, look, we've done this before, we're better, we can do this, we can use our weird comp to take, take control of this map and win it. And that's gonna be happening on Museum de Alfonsino Splat Zones. And honestly, interesting map for this. Museum de Alfonsino, that's what you sounded like. That's what you sounded like. <laughs> yeah. Um, Museum de Alfonsino, <laughs> no, <we're laughs> Museum Alfonsino Splat Zones. It's going to be fun. Um, I like this map for Baghetti because they've got the Junior. I mean, we were talking about Zones and Junior a lot earlier, and I was kind of like, rrr, 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 
around, whatever. But the reason I specifically like it on this map is because if you're able to create the space for the junior to walk upon the plat and just slap some bubbles down, you suddenly just have their plat for free. Like you press a button and you've got their plat for free. So if they are able to support their junior player to be able to do that, it could put Getty in a great situation to make it much harder for Dick and Ben to do the things they've been doing so far. Yeah, and I mean, uh, as, a, as an augment to that, you could also say the inkjet combined with that bubbler. If you get that bubble on that plat, then you are limiting the amount of space that the enemy can work with. And then you've got Meblingo on that ball point. He can just inkjet from mid and just shoot across onto plat. Bang, bang, bang. 65 damage. 65 damage. Death. And that's, re that's a really good combo for them. But we'll see that. Oh, look, man, I don't know. We'll see that coming into this match right now. Uh, 50 damage, not 65. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, 52 is going to be going out from Dude again. So it looks like it's a bit of a Splat Zones pick for him. We've seen it quite consistently. So it could be for that paint. But either way, starting to move down now. Desert going quite uh, like putting himself early on the right side, trying to get some presence there. As the junior player is going to be in zone early, close to that big bubble. Taking some damage though from Noctis. And look, he's already in. He's already got two. He's already making a big plays for the team. Does get taken out, how though. Uh, though, however, Akio now moving forward, taking the same aggression that Noctis did. And it's going to be a sort of 2v2 as this jump does come in, making it a 3v2. And Baghetti have a chance to get back in, but right now Dick Ben do have control and most likely will be getting the jumps in to solidify it. Yeah, massive from Dick Ben there to hold that one. The Blingo does have that inkjet on deck and Eric has popped the popped the um, bubble as well to kind of get that. That's a big pick on Bali, I think that was. Uh, so a massive start here from Baghetti, but I'm going to say the same thing that we saw in the first map. They are struggling to get that mid control. They're struggling to convert off those initial kills. That doesn't matter when they take out Noctis, pop the hanger and push the rest of the team into the corner and finally wrestle that control back. Are we going to see something big coming out from Baghetti here? Are we going to see them actually take control of this game? Yeah, they've got the mid right now, but they want to try and extend it a bit further as Desert is getting a bunch of chip damage onto the plant, just making it hard and uncomfortable for Dick Ben to get the control they want to. The crab is being popped in the high, high ground though, and the Booyah Bomb is going to follow, so they're going to try and find something off of this. Junior player does get taken out, that's going to be a great situation for Dick Ben to start going in. Inkjet's in the air, but unfortunately not found anything yet, but Noctis going in a bit too far, does get taken out, but Desert being taken down as a follow-up will allow Dick Ben to get control of the zone and potentially find more. A lot of members of Baghetti on that right side right now, so we'll have to see if they try and fight it or if they try to hold their mid ground, and it will look like Dude is going to fighting it with that 52. Noctis then helping follow up and the junior and the ball point will be going down. Now they're moving forwards onto the plat and Dick Ben are going to take the lead and not only that they're going to take control of the opponent's plat putting them in a great position to take a lot of points off the clock. Dick Ben said hey we saw what you did we saw you trying to take our plat we can do exactly the same but better. They managed to get to the trader but you know as I say that commentator's curse two members of Dick Ben do go down and Baghetti are already back to move in to get this space they pop the inkjet they pop the big bubble they pop the trizuka they're taking the space dude is on the front line does get taken down that's two members down for Dick Ben that's three members down for Dick Ben and Baghetti are finally taking some more space in mid they're doing a lot better than they were doing the last game and taking the space that they need do they want to push to that plat though that's what we're thinking here both teams have lost members trying to get that plat control and I mean from from a personal perspective are you worried a worried for what? Worried about the oh. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but Getty now taking that fight will actually get taken out by the crab. I love that. You're seeing on the rotating platform. Surprise, a crab does take out the ball point, which opens up the push they need to start getting out. Desert, though, pops the hammer. Going really, really ballsy here. Does get the one. Potentially can find a second here. Is able to get a bunch of pressure, but unfortunately gets taken down on the zone. But still making like some sort of opening here. But I think, unfortunately, Baghetti are still too far back in their spawn to make anything work. Noctis playing very, very aggressive. Quite weak, but oh, lovely direct. What a great blaster player. And will be putting his team in this situation to do well. Another one. And Noctis, oh, putting in the work and a little bag to go with it. Now going into that 30-point territory. As Dick Ben have a great situation to lock out this game. They've only got really now to hold one proper team fight and they should be looking at a 2-0 victory. Noctis really just said, would you like fries with that and held the top plat, keeping that museum, well, museum center under his control. Baghetti need to get in now. Seven points left on the clock for Dick and Ben. They are trying to hold two members go down for Baghetti right now. Dude is trying to hold part of the zone. There is a frantic painting from Eric as the junior in the middle. He does get taken down. That's a huge part of the paint from Baghetti getting taken down. That timer is ticking. One second and that's Dick and Ben to take this 2-0 over Baghetti Bolognato and win their group. Yeah, so Dicker Ben looked dominant today. 6-0 overall and some really convincing sets. It, they rarely, rarely faltered and they looked dominant in this group and moving on as the first seed tomorrow alongside... No, no, um, um, the other groups. So who won the second group? <laughs> oh, alongside... I've got their team name, but like Pramano and Akami and... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, moving on as a top seed and Baghetti following as a second seed, both going on to top eight tomorrow. Brilliant form on this, guys. And once we're back from the break, 
we will be looking at the two 0-2 teams from this group to see who isn't going to go winless in this situation.